Ah! <laughs> I see. <laughs> I just had a thought. What? I don't think the game likes Sayori. <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen, I mean this in a literal sense. It's just like, oh, I don't like you. No, 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 no. You're not understanding what I'm saying. I don't think this is the protagonist's words. I think this is the way the game is written. I think the game doesn't like Sayori. Like, in a literal sense, the game doesn't like Sayori. Oh, interesting theory. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let ah! catch up to me. Gibberish. Uh, gibberish. More gibberish. Okay, but why is it... Oh. It's an ordinary school day like any other! Mornings are usually the worst. Being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. Yeah, the game doesn't like Sayori. It's, <laughs> we're going meta- we're going full meta, boys. We're golden, boys. <laughs> Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone! Hell no, I haven't! <laughs> Cause I have no friends! <laughs> what did you do to my best friend? To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. Feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I enjoy, I personally enjoy and make something special- Wait a minute. What? It's all about the politics and preparing for events. The literature club became the very thing she sought to escape! Actually, I'm starting a new one. A lit- <laughs> Okay. I'm back! And I brought a guest with me! Uh. <laughs> You're not saying, to be honest. Okay, so when are we gonna get to the fact that everything's fucked up? It's your line. So, I ran into Toto on a classroom, and he decided to come check out the club. But seriously, when are we gonna get to the fact that everything's fucked up? Isn't that great? Shut up, that's my line! <laughs> Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. <laughs> Three, excuse me? Where is Sayori? I only count two people. Why? What did they do with Sayori? I don't know. I, I don't think they did anything. I, who's Sayori again? Um, Yuri returns <laughs> <laughs> Manga. Sorry, this might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. What are we? What are things gonna change again? Well, I'm back in the literature club, baby. Woo! Ace, I need answers. I'm not giving you answers because that would be spoilers. You dumbass. <laughs> What's the last? Ah! Uh, ah! Ah! Thanks for keeping your promise, Dilla. You're taking my lines! <laughs> well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled then I expect the Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. Is it just me or was the background slightly tilted? Hey, what's that? What do you mean, what's what? Ah! Oh, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Hold yeah. the fuck! It's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this. That's the book you gave me, right? <laughs> I wanted to reread some of it. Was there a line through Monica for a second there? I thought I saw a glitch oh. line. Uh, tell me what it's about. And it's about this girl, and she is, uh... The Grill Gamer. She's not a Grill Gamer. Uh, human experiment... Wait. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. What the fist? Hey, this got different! This is different! Oh! <laughs> yeah, I don't even got any reason to say that. I sure Shut didn't! Up. It just got, uh, different. But <laughs> <laughs> because the world is full of horrible people, and we are all worthless anyway. Hello! Sorry, uh, was, I, I'm sorry, that was your line. I think you did it justice. <laughs> I think you did it justice. Yeah. Honestly, what is happening to this game? I don't know. Oh. I'm rambling, aren't I? Yeah, you're... <laughs> yep, yeah, I've definitely lost interest. Not in you. <laughs> I'm still interested in you. My, oh, my whole plot... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Can we go back? Okay, we're just gonna speed through this. Ah, never mind! <laughs> Didn't like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll go slower. I was bi- uh, Hey! What? <laughs> okay. Hmm, close contact. First contact. No! That's aliens, you dingling. Uh, how do you know she's not? 
I'm do joking. This to me. I'm joking. Don't do this to she's me. She's not an alien. I'm not lying. I swear to God, she's not an alien. Don't do this okay? to me. Okay. Okay. That smile is precious. Definitely not. I was just thinking the way she second guesses things she says and all that. That's what you were talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Oh. The fact that she's a bloodthirsty murderer? <laughs> Alright then. Do you want to run that by me again? Uh, no, nah, I'm good. Hey, what's going on with the music? Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. Okay, but did you. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Mia, look who's talking. You want to be. Oh! Watch him! Bit. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Edgy! Sorry, but my lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know. If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? The only thing... Uh, the only thing cute about you... The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Well, be careful. You might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh! Oh, my bad. You already do, don't you? Oh, I knew it! Um, you should accuse me of cutting myself? Oh. <laughs> yeah, go on, let's tell him I hear everything you really think. I'm, I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. From here it turns for me as if she's noticed I was standing there. So, uh, she, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. Oh! Mommy, I want to go home. <laughs> Do you want me to pick for you? Yes. Cool. Uh, of course you pick for. What? <laughs> Keep clicking it. No, Keep I want your. I want your. No, I love your. No, no. Monica. Uh, excuse me, Monica. <laughs> Monica. <laughs> Hold on. Um. Hey, Dua. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Ooh. What do you mean, step outside? Okay. <laughs> <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble. But I really... Oh boy, down to Ryan New Pope. Let's go, everybody. Hey, excuse me. I... Come... <sighs> okay. Mission failed with them next time, Alex. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Oh, uh, there's nothing usual about that. <laughs> this is that's not usual. That's unusual. It's not unusual. Get the fuck out! I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said, and I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Huh? Jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? Evil! Evil! Huh. <laughs> but... What? My... Mibble, cell cloth, blind sight, lifeline, and then... R r faultlessly offered... What? Hello, what? Hey, what is up with her mouth? I just barely noticed her mouth. <laughs> I did not. No. Uh uh. I, I need to exercise my laptop now. Oh. Oh. Uh. What's that noise? Yeah, that's what I want to know. <laughs> it's coming from around the corner. Oh! It sounds like breathing. It sounds like a special kind of breathing. <laughs> That's either a breath of pain or pleasure, and as awkward as it is, I'm really hoping it's the first of the two. <laughs> a sharp inhale like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? Uh... I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? <laughs> oh, yeah. 
I, uh, on the one hand, I'm glad it wasn't what I thought it was going to be because these are school kids. Yeah. But on the other hand, oh, Yuri. Uh. Hey, um, <laughs> I didn't agree to this. I didn't agree. No. <laughs> Yuri starts to breathe heavily. Uh, I, I can't tell what. Suddenly Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. <laughs> oh, hmm. Ah, uh, wow, I didn't know that was all it took, Yuri. <laughs> I just want to look at you. Oh, oh. hey, hmm. <laughs> oh. Hey, what's going on here? I don't like where this is going. <laughs> hey, Yuri, your eyes are, uh... Very beautiful today. And that's not what I was going to say, but okay. Uh, one eye looks more droopy than the other. <laughs> I either wanted her to kiss me or stab me, and I'm not sure which I wanted her. <laughs> but right now, I just want you to read my poem too, okay? Oh. Okay. Let me take a drink of water before I start, because this looks lengthy. <laughs> a rotating wheel, turning an axle, grinding, bolt head, linear gearbox, falling sky. Seven holy stakes, a docked ship, a patrol to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, a torn harness, parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, time controlled by slipping co cogwheels, existence of God, swimming with open water in all directions, drowning, a prayer written in blood, a prayer lit in time devouring snakes with human eyes, a thread connecting all living human eyes, a kaleidoscope of holy stakes, exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding s stars, God disproving the existence of God, a wheel rotating in six dimensions, 40 gears and a ticking clock, a clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet, a clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks, every second time, a bolt out of holy stakes tied to the existence of a docked ship to another world, a kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks, a time devouring prayer connecting a sky of 40 gears and open human eyes in all directions, breathing gearbox, breathing bolt head, breathing ship, breathing portal, breathing snakes, breathing God, breathing blood, breathing holy stakes, breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky. What the fuck does this mean? Don't worry about it. No, I'm going to worry about it. Because this isn't even a poem, this is just rambling. Yuri, you're slacking. For shame. <laughs> I don't see a problem here, personally. I know you don't, because you're <laughs> head over here, heels in love with big titty goth GS. That is not the case, actually. <laughs> <laughs> My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. Uh... That, that is, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for a safekeeping. <laughs> I, um... All right, she's Yandere, I'm calling it. <laughs> she has, like, the shrine in Yandere, Sim. Yeah, no, totally. I just really like the way that it writes, so I wrote this poem with it. And now you're touching it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm okay. It gets weirder and weirder each time, man. Get me the hell out of here! <laughs> You know, I've been putting some pieces together, Monica, and all I have to say is, if you want me to spend time with you, why don't you go back and change the game's code like you did for Sayori? Huh? Oh! How about that? If you really want me to spend that much time with you, go and change the game all over again, huh? <laughs> so you think she changed it? I do. I really do think it's Monica. That is possible. Well, I mean, did you not see that one poem where she's talking about, like, red, green, and blue? She's talking about technology and seeing beyond yeah. the fabric of reality. And then, you know, the one poem, load me. Yeah. She, it's gotta be Monica. Delete her. What? Yeah, no, nah, it's definitely Monica. Oh. Monica is deleting characters. But Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Uh... I want to say no. <laughs> Just, I wanna... Where's my option to say hello? Well, usually you could click outside of like poems and shit. So I'm like, can I click outside of no, this? No, I don't think you can. Monica, I think you're the bad guy. Don't make me do this. You're going to trap me and eat my soul. <laughs> Monica, I would help you, but you're being sketchy. So super sketchy. 
I don't want to help her at all. Oh. That's a fun poem. I like that. That's a nice poem. It really uh, shows the true colors. Very abstract. Literally. It's like a kaleidoscope of emotions. Oh. 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 Why? Why? Why is the screen red? It's pulsing. Wait, is it actually? Yeah. Look at the corners. Oh, shit. Oh, and it's muffled, too. I don't like that. I think this is the point of view from my heart. Oh. That's a squishy sound. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Ugh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine. Excuse me. <laughs> I was reading that. Wait, did I have a heart attack? Am I dead? What? I'm dead. You're not dead. I feel like I should be. Anyway, what happens if I click? Oh. Oh, okay. Do you have an opinion on the festival? I, I, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Uh. Oh, um. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Oh. Uh. No, I don't think that's true. Oh. Excuse me! What is it about eyes in this game, man? What is it about the eyes? <sighs> Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Dilwa, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. And I really do care about you, you know? Wait, what's going on? Yeah, the music just stopped. And it's getting desaturated. Yep. I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything, and Yuri being a little bit... you know. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? No. I do. Huh. But it's weird, because in all the time you've been here, We've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So, that's why- Wait! Not yet! No! Stop it! Oh, oh boy, time to write another poem! Oh shit, is that Sayori? That is indeed Sayori. Hi, Dilawa! <laughs> oh goodness. Wait, we already had this conversation about tea. <laughs> this is the same as yesterday. We're not gonna get yanked out of this again, are we? Can we actually have a conversation with her about this? <laughs> Yuri? <laughs> no! <laughs> Let me talk to her! Why do you want to talk so bad? She has a knife. Just because she has a knife doesn't mean I can be like, hey, c oh, oh, oh. Um. Wait. How did I? Sorry, I just had a really weird deja vu. This hasn't happened before or anything, right? Uh, I hate to break it to you, but, um. Place his hand on Yuri's shoulder. I think we're in a fucked up video game. Is it just me, or has Monica been acting a little off? Lately. She's not the only one. Well, I mean, I agree with Yuri, but also, yeah, I agree with you, Ace. She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. But recently I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. <clears throat> I'm not crazy, right? And please tell me I'm not. Oh, it smiles precious, but it's evil at the same time. I couldn't say anything before because she's always listening. But finally we're alone. Can we just stay here for a little while? Yeah. Um, I just want to stay here. Just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends. 
And then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. <laughs> that was a joke. Just a joke. I do like knives, though. It sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you've never seen how beautiful they can be. Wait a minute, that's Monica! Ah! <laughs> that's Monica! <laughs> no. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? Monica. I can show you my collection. Monica. I've gotten them all from various artisans. I make sure to give them all their fair share of use. Uh. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the Literature Club, Dillawa. Now, we don't need to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other. Monica, go away. We're having a conversation. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the Literature Club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Uh. Not to mention that other pathetic child. We can walk home together every day after school. And read together. Eat together. Sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? It's everything we could ever want. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we would meet each other. And now we get the... Let's see. I have to start focusing. And now we get the happy ending that I've patiently waited years for. Will you do that with me, Tillawa? <sighs> it's time to read more poems. Let's go, everybody. Why did you make me hang out with Yuri? Why I did you make me hang I out? I didn't with make you? you do anything. You encouraged me. You pushed me in that direction. <laughs>